Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to implement a while loop in order to give the user the option of playing the game again or running the program again. So in my example I have a program that asks the user how old they are and then based on the age that they put in it's going to output whether they can vote or not and a statement that's custom for their particular age group. So if I run this, I'll just try it once and it'll say how old are you and I'm just going to go in order here. So I'm going to put in 18 and it says congratulations you're old enough to vote. And I'm going to run it again and check for age less than 18 and so I'll put in something less than 18. Sorry you're too young to vote. I'm going to put in something over 60 and it says don't forget to vote and then something that would be between 18 and 60 and then we get the vote out for that. So the program works and puts out a custom message for voting based on their age range. But in order to do that I had to run it multiple times in order to test different scenarios. So in this example what we're going to do is look at using a while loop and ask the user if they want to continue or they want to run it again. So in order to implement that I'm going to set up a character variable called again and I'm going to set it equal to an uppercase Y. So we're going to be using that and the user will be able to put in a lowercase or an uppercase Y to see if they want to run the program again. So let's think about what do we want it to repeat or what do we want it to loop over and over again? Well, we would still need to get them to output the message, how old are you, and get the age in. And so we want that to be part of our loop. And then after we get the age in, we also want these if else if condition checks to be part of the loop. So what we'll do is surround this with a while loop and so our condition check is going to say if again let's say if it's equal to a lowercase y or again is equal to an uppercase y. Now my program automatically put this part in here so I can get rid of that. This starts my while loop. I'm going to move this down to the next line. It might make it a little easier to keep track of where this starts. So this is the beginning of my while loop and the part where I want it to end is going to be down here after this last else. So while again is equal to an uppercase or lowercase y, this is what should happen. So let me run that and we'll see what happens. So we'll put in a number, comes right back, how old are you? Don't forget to vote, how old are you? So it keeps going and we have no way of stopping it. It's an endless loop because this is evaluating to true and there's nothing to change it. So what we need is, before our while loop ends, a way to change the value of our yes. So before this, I'm come down here, I'll put in, this is the end while. Sometimes after you start getting a lot of those in there, it can be confusing where something starts and stops. So let's just do a quick check and say, go again. And then we'll say Y or N, so they know what they're supposed to enter. And then we'll get the user's response back in through a CN. And so this is going to change our control variable. Our control variable up here is this. So here we're changing it. We're giving the user the opportunity to change it. And also, just so that we're sure when we're outside of this loop, when this while loop ends, let's just put a cout statement here that says the end. So we'll be able to track where it exits out of the while loop. So let me clear this and we will run it again. 
I'm going to put some numbers in. All right now it asks, do you want to go again? Yes or no. So I'll put in a Y and I'll put in another number and I'll put in a Y and another number. So it keeps going through over and over again. And then when I finally put in putting in anything other than a Y will end the program. Right? We've only made accommodations for a lowercase or an uppercase Y. So anything other than that is going to exit the while loop and then come down here to print out our end statement. So that's an overview of using a while structure and getting feedback from the user by changing our control variable as to whether it should continue running this loop.